Hello elites and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. This is uh, <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies. This is episode 8 and in this episode we are back and we are going to start the daytime pool levels in the backyard. I cannot wait. We're going to choose all the daytime plants that work the best which is from the first um, daytime in the front yard. Um, we're going to do this and this. And I think this should be a good setup so let's try this. Let's see if this works. So we got our first sunflower here. <laughs> I usually still like building two columns. Now that we have a sixth row, um, it's gonna be a different kind of way of playing, which I can't wait for. Um, all right, another sunflower. We can get about three before the first zombie comes. Up. And with our potato mine, we can put do this, and he'll just walk all the way over there and save us some time and sun because we need both. So. And it's only one flag level, it's the first level. We're learning how to use the lily pad if you've ever, if you've never played this game before. So now that we're on the other side, we can start planting a lily pad early. Here we go. And we won't plant our first pea until we have all the lily pads, pretty much. So, our potato mine is going to recharge, and we're going to replace it at the top. There you go. Alright. Let him walk into his death. And we're going to keep doing our economy as fast as we can. Because now that there's a 6th row, you're going to need more offense and defense, which is more sun, which is more time you need to do that. So, here we go. Now we can start planting our first peas coming out of there. He's getting killed. Pretty easy enough. We don't have the hard zombies yet. Grab that and that. Go this way. And we can plant that. And we have a bucket. Or Conehead already? Come on, game. Let's go ahead and plant that, because we know he'll pretty much kind of make it to the fusion. I think. He'll make it, I think, so. He'll blow up. Uh, because we're not ready for Coneheads yet. We're still building up our first line of offense now. Now that we have sunflowers all ready. I miss the daytime a little bit. I really do. Episodes 9 to 12, we'll probably get to the foggy nighttime school levels. So... I can't wait for that. Okay. So the snow pea is definitely going to help us out with these cones. It's going to not only slow them down, but also have another pea worth of damage. Which is good. Alright. The pool levels are going nice so far, dude. Pretty smooth. We've already got our first column of peas. We're going to get these snow peas next. I think we should plant it... When the next cone head comes, or whenever. So, I don't There. Perfect. Alright, oh! Uh, there we go. Don't miss that. And then, here we go. Okay, we're doing good. Good, good, good. Our economy is high up there. Cool. It's well enough. We have a cone head there. We gotta block him off. Or kill him. Let's see if we can get a. Uh, can we get a. a uh, walnut there? Should we do it? Do we need it? Is he gonna make it? I don't think he's gonna make it actually. He's gonna die pretty fast. Alright, so we're good. So we just need about two more. One more snow pea now. And then that will be done for that column. Come on, come on. Here we go. And our snow peas are done. And this is the final wave. Let's plant a lawn out there so that way if they try to come into the water. Oh no! No, I was gonna eat that. Eh, kill him! Kill him! Eh, don't do that. Here, blow the, blow these guys up. Kill them fast. There's too many cone heads out there. Alright. He didn't eat the lily pot, which is good. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Please kill him fast enough. No, do this, do this, do this. Okay, plant the pea. Okay, they're gonna definitely eat the pea shooter. Oh no. Okay. Eh, kill him! Okay, there we go. We're good. <laughs> Alright, squash. Time for squashing. We know what he does. Alright, we have the newspaper zombie and the football player coming in with the mix of the uh, bucket head coming in now. So they're throwing in difficulty already. So we're going to take all this and there we go. I think we're good. We don't really need the cherry bomb this time. Most people would suggest, no, if the football player comes, just cherry bomb him right away. Nah, we'll squash him. 
We'll give him the good old squash. And that's a good enough kill for us. So now this extends our time for growing and doing all kinds of stuff like that even more. Because now we can spend more time. Because um, our, if our recharge time on the potato mine takes too long, it's okay. We've got the squash too. For just double the price, you can plant the squash too. And if you do the same exact thing, you're gonna wait for the zombie to go all the way to the end, and then get squished. Or get insta killed, basically. So, that's the good thing about it. Alright. There's two flags this time, so this is gonna be very interesting. The levels are gonna start getting longer. I think the pool levels are when you get your first triple flag level. I cannot wait. And when you play the second time around, everything that was one flag turns into two. Everything that was two flags turns into three. Everything that was three flags turns into four. And I don't think when you play the third time around, will there be five flags? I hope. I really hope, because that's fun, dude. It really is fun having long levels when you have like every single plant there is in the game, and you can just make the weirdest, coolest like setups ever, and you'll just slay. And the endless levels are definitely fun too. I will show you me playing the endless levels once I get every single plant. It's not fun doing the endless levels when you're missing a few of the cool special plants, because then you have to make a perfect setup to see how long you can last, you know? And you're gonna need like the corn cob cannon and like all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Um, let's see, let's see. I think we can start planting our peas now. Let's go ahead and start planting our peas now. Because we need peas. Now we're going to use the repeater. We're going out on a limb. We're not going to use a pea. We're going to use a repeat. Because we, we want to kill that football player fast. We really do. I think we can get this to be really crazy. Our economy's up there. So we're going to build up really fast. Alright, get that guy down there. And let's see, let's do a repeater. So that way he's getting hit by three peas at a time. And he'll die pretty fast. And trust me, watch what we'll do when we get the first football player. We will plant like crazy. Oh! Mini games unlocked. Okay. Maybe some more mini games. We can do those off camera. Oh, we can do those on camera another day. I really want to finish the game first, and then we can do mini games and cool stuff like that. And then we'll play the. I'll play the game the second time around off camera and um, just update you every once in a while like okay so look at this i have this now i bought this and now we're playing these mini games because i played enough to unlock it you know oh please don't send out a football player yet not yet not yet not yet not yet not yet not yet please thank you all right our snow pea column is complete now everybody's gonna be pretty slow, which is gonna in turn make the game a little bit longer. Which I don't know how many episodes or levels we can get through this episode. We might have to make this episode a little bit longer. They might have to go a little bit longer with each level as we get closer to the end of the game, because it's gonna get longer, honestly. Especially with three flags coming up. Oh my god. All right, move this around. Let's get that row of repeaters going. So we can defeat these guys. Okay. No football on me yet? I don't think it's gonna come to the end. Come on, game. You can make it hard on me. And there's no bucket heads either. Where's the bucket heads at? I wanna hear that tink tink. Alright, we got one more freaking repeater. Let's go ahead and plant that walnut there for the, the final one. Because, you know, they spawn them right in front of the uh, walnut. I'm like, really? Really? Uh, uh, the last one. There we go. And if we need to, if there's a bucket, we'll place another repeater, which will be, uh, what is that? Four, five peeps attacking the bucket there, which will kill them pretty fast. Um, and if there's a football player, we'll place another repeater, which will be seven peeps, which will be pretty fast for the football player. So we'll just keep increasing. We can even just start building the second row now, why not? Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, let's do this. Five Ps. Let's see how fast it kills him. Okay, he's dented. He's extra dented. And now it pops off. And his arm, and then he's dead. He's dead, good. Okay, so it kills him pretty fast. So that's why it's good doing the second row of repeaters. We're almost done with that second row. Alright. 
Then I can't wait to do a third row for um uh, or a third column for the football players. Because the football players are pesky. They're really annoying. Look how fast they kill the one on the top. Look, look. Please kill him fast. There's gonna be one in the bottom to the last, also. We'll see how fast they die. And it looks like he's gonna die on the second second tile. Yup, he did. Wow, that was pretty fast. Is he gonna die on the second tile also? Or maybe the first one, hopefully. Alright, we have three columns of peas, guys. That is a lot of peas. That's five peas per row. Wow. Alright, if a football player comes, we're gonna put seven in his row. Specific. Look, look, look. Seven. See how fast I killed him. And we're gonna place a wall up there to slow him down. Okay. When does his helmet get dented? Okay, how about now? When do, uh, it falls off now, his arm and his... Okay, good. C7 works really fast on him. Say like it takes like 60 hits to kill him. Well, you're gonna get to 60 fast because you're gonna go 7, 14, 21, 28. Look at that, we got the 3 Peter. Yes. Yo! So the 3 Peter is gonna help us out with uh, the new zombie. Yes, 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 I understand. Yes. Okay, fine. Let's do it. 5,000. I knew he was gonna reward this, this. Yes. Now we have 8. So let's go with the same exact plants from last time with the repeater, I think. So, you know, sunflower, um, lily pad, squash, three peter. Um, let's put this in order, though. Let's, uh, let's, because it's, 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 uh, okay, you know what? Snow pea, three peter, potato, and then, um, walnut. No, repeater. We don't need the walnut this time. Well, do we? Yes, we do for the water. We need it for the water. Because those little scuba diver guys, those guys are going to freaking bite out our water rows, which is going to be annoying. It's really annoying. Alright. So, once again, let's build up our economy as fast as possible. Um, we'll have definite amounts of health because we have both the squash and potato mine this time. And the combination of both of those gets your economy high up quick. So you gotta do that. So look, this guy's coming on the bottom row. Alright. We're doing good. Pretty slow for a beginning. Come on. And if I'm if I'm right, I believe we earn the tingle cup next. So that way that can just combat the uh the uh, scuba diver guys. Because we need a plant to scuba uh plants to we need a plant to combat that one. Alright. Squish him because there's a second zombie coming up. Alright. We're almost into the water with sunflowers. And I want to save up real, real quick. So that way we can plant our first three feeder. That'll probably be the first pea we put down. So let's keep on building this uh, economy up. Do that. And that. that and this. Three more sunflowers, come on. I can't wait to get the twin of sunflower, it just makes everything so much faster. It really does, because then you get this crap ton of sun. There we go. There we go. Okay, lily pack. And one more sunflower, come on, come on, come on. We'll plant our first pea as a small pea, forget it. Okay, because it's going to take a lot of saving to get to the uh, three peter. And I think we can put him in the middle, probably. I'll figure out a, a cool little like setup. Okay, there we go, he exploded. Now we can place a P, another P. Oh man, okay, so there's another zombie behind that guy, but then there's also one on the bottom row. So let's squish you and blow up the guy behind you. And then we can, let's put another snow pea here. These snow peas are expensive, crazy expensive, but at least it's two flags long of a level, so. We'll have time to actually build up a cool little defense instead of like one flag, you know, here you go, test out the three reader. You know, I really don't like the one flag level. I like kind of long ones. Not for recording wise, because you know, I would like to, you know, get through levels, as many levels as possible really fast and not have the series be like 150 levels per episode. But uh Yeah. 
I do like them because it's like you get to have fun building your yard for like longer, for a longer amount of time. All right, our first three Peters down. He's already doing some pretty good damage. He's attacking two zombies at once right now. Pretty good. That cone has getting hit by two peas. Go block that off now and early. All right. One more snow pea and that completes that column. We don't need a really, we really don't need a second column. They should have made it so that when you plant two snow peas in one row, it freezes the zombie in place. Completely. Just completely. Like after getting pelted by like six of them, six um, peas from two pea shooters, which is uh, just three each, um, boom, he's just frozen in place. And he just keeps getting frozen in place. Kind of like the Colonel Pult that throws butter in a way. That'd be really cool. Alright. So we got the middle two, middle four rows covered with the three feeder. Now we got this one. And I am going to plant the three feeder on the very bottom and top row. Because, and I know people advise not to do that because one of them flies off the map anyway. It doesn't matter. It's kind of a waste of 325 sun, but. I'm gonna do it anyway because the other two are gonna stack up with the uh, top row and hit the zombies and kill them faster, you know? It's just extra peas. It's worth it. It's two extra peas. Rather than planting two other separate pea shooters for more money than that. You know, it's just it's, it's a matter of being smart with your money. Oh, there's our first scuba diver. Here we go. Hopefully when he pops his head up, he gets killed real quick. Because about what? One, two, three... Four peas are hitting that row? Yeah. So he's gonna pop his head and get killed almost instantly. Watch. Takes one bite, two bites, three bites, and he's dead. He didn't even get that many bites in. Awesome. Nice! Alright. Uh, for this level, I'm, I guess I'm not gonna plant uh, three peters in the very last rows. Or, yeah. Just because I want to go with some symmetry real quick. I haven't added repeaters yet. I'm going to add them now. So let's do that. There we go. There's some symmetry for you. But I also want to add some in the water. So I'm going to get rid of the sunflowers in the very, very back right there. Once we get enough sun. Because we need to kill that guy faster. That'll make about six peas in that row. Watch. Watch. Oh, he's going to get killed real fast. Boom. Insta kill. One bite die. We went from three bites to one bite. Just by adding one more P. That's how crazy that power is. I love that. I love that. Okay, final wave. Let's do this. Let's kill him fast. Squish you. Um, okay, that's all we can do to get rid of a certain stuff. Okay. And, oh man, this is a long uh, episode. Well, and that's all it's gonna be for today. We are going to unlock the Tingle Cup, I believe, right? Yes, the Tango Pop. Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you did. Subscribe today if you haven't already. Tell somebody about the channel. And let them know. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video that I create. And goodbye, elites. Goodbye.